Hey guys, today I'm going to be analysing Adam's deadlift. If you want this done for any of the big three, send them my way. So any uh, bench press, squat and or deadlift videos, if you want them analysed by me and a video made out of it, then um, get in touch, send them over and I'll do that for you for free. Okay, let's have a look at Adam's deadlift then. I do normally steer people away from wearing gloves. There's a couple reasons for it. So number one, it makes the bar thicker, just simply because you've got more material between you and the bar. And number two, it does give you an extra bit of material to slip on. So I try to avoid people um, wearing them for those reasons. After that, it is your choice. You know, uh, I do have a couple clients that prefer to use gloves and psychologically it feels like they're, they're getting more grip and I can't deny that, you know, so um, by all means wear them if you feel you need to, but with that information um, you make the call. What you'll find is gloves don't necessarily protect you from having calluses and calluses are just part of lifting and just a way of your body protecting itself and in fact they can be quite useful. There is a point at which where calluses can really become a problem so I normally suggest if this is the case you can file them down. I know that sounds a little gross but then it stops them from getting torn off. Um, so yeah that's my opinion on wearing gloves. So I'm going to refer back to my uh, squat analysis that I did for yourself I need you to brace um, so double check that video that I linked I'll also link it in this video for those who haven't perhaps seen that one and that will teach you how to breathe and how to brace correctly for the big three uh, well in particular spine loaded movements the squat and the deadlift uh, when it comes to bench press bracing is not uh, an enormous necessity because it's not spine loaded, but um, the breathing part of the bracing is important. Anyway, that's a whole nother story. Basically on the deadlift, definitely want to be breathing and bracing correctly. So making sure we're pulling that diaphragm down, pushing the organs out against all our musculature surrounding, especially the lower parts of the spine to help protect it and increase intra-abdominal pressure. The next thing I wanna talk about So you do find a good position. You just tend to jerk the bar to start it. And if we watch this play out, it just adjusts where your original position is. So the reason I try to steer people away from jerking the bar off the floor is you can see you've thrown your shoulders and your head forward of the bar. And your lats are gonna have to work really hard at keeping the bar close to you. And number two, your, your back is gonna work really hard to lift the bar. You've taken away kind of the use of the legs. So there's a few things I'm gonna go through as to how to fix that and why, uh, kind of playing into what I just said. Um, so the reason, obviously, our lats have to work hard anyway in keeping the bar in. We don't want them to work any harder. So an analogy I like to use, or an example I like to use, um, with a heavy weight or fairly heavy weight, I'm gonna hold the weight out. That's quite difficult. I'll bring it back in. That's really easy. And it's the same in the deadlift. So the closer it can stay to the body, the easier that becomes. We are doing it here on the initial part of the lift, but the lats are working really hard to do so. So the way I like to teach people to try to not jerk the bar off the floor um, is think of this as a leg press. So if you, demonstrate the movement without the arms, it's like so. The arms act as attachments. They are merely ropes hanging from your body just to attach to the bar. So these kind of uh, passive attachments don't play any role other than keeping the bar attached to your body. So with that in mind, it's just purely legs working through. You're gonna push your legs through the floor 
think of it as a leg press. So hopefully those analogies, those examples can help you come away from jerking the bar off the floor. The good thing about how you lift off of the floor, despite this uh, jerky motion, you do keep a really good neutral back. So well done on that. So uh, this plays into what I was talking about in terms of lats. The bar does drift away from your thighs, so make sure it drags up your thighs as well. You should be scraping your legs the whole way through. Um, obviously this can get a little irritating. Uh, because you're in a conventional stance, it, it shouldn't be as irritating. Um, but you might find you kind of bruise your shins a little bit. There are such things as deadlift socks. You can just get some long football socks. They work just as well. But essentially they'll, they'll protect your shins. Um, try to keep your head still. So in your setup, you go through a couple different positions. I would say probably the most efficient position your neck in line with the rest of your spine. Um, there are a good few examples of some very, very strong power lifters, um, very strong deadlifters who don't keep a neutral neck position. So this is one I am open to debating. However, I think for yourself, let's keep a neutral position. So uh, I've used this example before. We're gonna think like we've got a shot glass between the chin and chest and we're gonna hold that position still there. And that should correct your head position and stop you from, especially moving around, that, that will help you lift a bit more efficiently, I would say. I'll give you one more analogy or one more uh, cue to think about trying to come away from jerking the bar off the floor. So think like you're taking the slack out of the bar. So there is a little wiggle space. I want you to take all that wiggle space out before you begin and then go. It's going to take a fraction of a second, but it will get your legs to engage and then push through the floor. So another way I like to think about keeping the bar close to you is think like you're wrapping the bar around you. Um, so you're literally just gonna think like you're bending the bar around your legs. Another good way of thinking of it is I want you to try and show off the inside of your arm at the elbow to the rest of the gym. So that's gonna help you to kind of look to turn out your arms, engage through your lats harder and keep your upper back tight and of course keep the bar closer to you. So Adam has sent two videos, which is really handy because this is stuff I won't have picked up on with just side on stuff. Okay, so I just wanna rewind. If we look at your hand position and your knee position, uh, similar to what I've said in your squat, you should be able to get your knees over your ankles. Where your hands are placed and where your feet are placed, you're pushing your knees in. And this is gonna basically make your deadlift a little bit less effective. So we've got a couple options. We can either stand a little bit wider and turn it into a bit of a hybrid deadlift and put your hands on the inside of your legs. I think we'll go a little narrower. Just take your feet in a little bit. So roughly hip width, kind of between hip width and shoulder width and leave your hands where they are. That should get you into a more efficient position and stop you pushing your, your knees in. And we can just see here that your hips have risen quite high immediately before we've pulled off of the floor. Well, as we've pulled off of the floor, that will feed back into what I was talking about in terms of making sure you brace through your legs, take the slack out of the bar. This is a leg press, remember? We're not, although we are picking up the weight, we're not really. Remember, this is a leg exercise and our arms are mere attachments to the bar. Another way you might find to come away from jerking the bar off the floor is never bend your arms. They should always stay straight, even at the start position. I hope all of that has made sense. Give those tweaks a go, and I think your deadlift is gonna become much more efficient and you'll feel a lot stronger with it. Um, if anybody else wants to send in their videos, the squat, the bench, and or the deadlift, feel, feel free to do so. I am doing this for free, and I will make a video out of it like I have with Adam's here. Thanks for watching.